Hey, what up, what up? So, we're taking a little cruise in your, your 63 Impala, right? Yes, sir. 63 hardtop. You want to give us a little, just a little quick about it? Yeah, well, um, I call it Redbone. You know what I mean? One of the only ones in the Harbor Area on gold ones. Okay. You know what I mean? I had to do it that way. Um, basically, it's a stock Impala. Nothing special. Nothing too crazy. I haven't done much to it since I got it. But, uh, yeah. And then you were, before off camera, we were talking a little bit about it. You said it was kind of like a little hot rod before you before you started doing your thing oh, yeah. to it, right? Yeah, this car came from uh, North Carolina. Purchased it, purchased it off my boy, uh, Gibby. Okay. Plata Promo, him and Lloyd, Long Beach Lloyd. Um, I went to go check it out. This car was like fucking too much. It was too much, man. It was a, uh, it was raced out. Like I guess the owner before me, this was his hobby car, and he had it raced out, and it was too much for the California uh, lowrider scene or okay. riding scene. You know what I mean? Okay. So yeah, I toned it down a little bit, but it still got that beefy engine. What made you choose a 63 Impala? Why a 63 or why, why an Impala? You know, you could have went a couple different rounds. Could have could have had a bomb. Could have went. Uh, to be honest, because uh, I mean, it ain't no convertible, but Boys in the Hood. Everybody knows Boys in the, hood. Know boys in the hood. You know what I mean? Uh, when 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 uh, just the rear end and all the lines it has, they're like perfect. The detail, the detailing on the car is just perfect. Um, I don't knock any other Impalas, but just the 63 is like. It's spacious, more spacious on the inside, and it's to me, it's like to me, my definition is like a gangster car, homie, straight, okay. straight hoop banger to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm just gonna keep it real, you know? Okay. Well, that's why the 63, man. But other than that, I like 61s also, 59s, okay. but that's it. Lucky. So, take me through. What this car's done for you, man. You were you were talking to me a little bit about that earlier. You said that it it's it's taking you places. That it's it's. Oh yeah, Redbone, man. Redbone. This is a special car to me, man. I purchased this car about two years ago. All I did was add some skirts, some antennas, and the gold rims. I haven't done anything to the car from when I purchased it, other than that. But a lot of people it catches a lot of people eye. Eye, you know what I mean? It's a it's American red on some gold rims and it, it catches all kinds of people's eyes like uh, I one of the first photo shoots I did was with my boys from uh, Sky's No Limit it's a, a clothing brand um, I did music videos uh, various music videos I did one with uh, some dude named uh, G shit he comes from uh, he's one of Rick Ross's uh, rappers okay but one of the homies out here in Long Beach Owl uh, another one in Wompton the homie Nutcase um, man we've done so much stuff I, I mean if I forget you my bad, I'm not trying to forget you. I just did a photo shoot last week. But, um, so I forgot her name, but she like rides roller skates and stuff. Oh, okay. But it's just yeah, the, yeah. It's the vehicle itself. It's like, it's, it's not perfect. And I haven't did anything to it, like put any money into it, like, or, or um, painted the car or anything. But it's just something about it, the originality. I, I believe the originality of it that catches people's eye. You know what I mean? And it's, it's an all right looking car to me. It's, I mean, of course we want to get it painted and everything one day, but right now where it's at, the stage that it's in is doing a lot for me. I get to network, meet different people, mm -hmm. um, socialize with people. Actually, that's how it came upon me starting a car club. I mean, I was invited to ride with other car clubs. I mean, nothing against it or anything, but I just had to do something to represent my city, man, and my part of town. Okay. You know, cause we never had that in, in Wilmington. At least on my side of town, we never had it. Okay. So when I decided to um, to to start to start my car club, we went on with Westlife. It's not just the side of town; it's the it's the whole it's the whole coast, man. West Coast, Westlife. You know what I mean? Every rapper's representing the West. You know what I mean? That's just that's just the way we're getting down. And to me, it's like it leaves a lot of room. It leaves a lot of room to grow. You know? But yeah. That's, that's a couple of the things it's done for me. Okay. It's also, we also ride it as a family. I take my family out on it. And I've seen your daughter, you let her drive it. Yeah, I've seen her whipping it around on, on, yeah, on uh, Pedro Cruz night. Driving it. This year we did a lot, a lot of prom pictures for people. And I give back to my community that way. Like if there's somebody that, that can't afford a car or whatever and they reach out, you know, I do that on the street. I mean, I'm not saying anything about it. I'm just saying that that comes from me, you know. There's people that got cars.
person won't even donate donate to their own community, but that's how I do my part. You know, if somebody needs a car, you're gonna get married. Hey, homie, you know, my car's right there. You know, I don't I don't hold no limits to nobody. Like, if, if you're having a quinceanera and you need a car, it's, but you could count on me. You know what I mean? Like, I, that's just the way I get down. You know, this car is not just for me to have leisure with it. It's it's for my community as well because growing up, I never had that. I've never had that. So like to share it. To me, the, it, it means more to share my car than just to have it and have it put away, tucked away, you know? But yeah. And also, I mean, they get driven. I feel like I was the same way too, because like when people ask me, oh, how much to use your car in a, in a shooter or like a music video? I was just honored to have the, like, damn, you want to use that little freaking, <laughs> yeah. want to use my truck for a music video? Like, I never, it never really dawned on me, like, how much to charge. I wouldn't even know how to charge somebody. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right? fuck, dude, yeah. I don't, you know? Like, I don't know, well, how much do you pay? A yeah, hundred bucks an hour? Yeah. All right, cool, yeah. give it a shoot it, you know? I, I just consider it a tip. Yeah. You know, when, when people pay me, I consider it a tip. You know, to me, I, I do it more because I want I want to be, I want the car to be a part of their of their memories. Yeah. You know? And it, and a lot of times people don't know what people to reach out to or, or where to get the, where to get a car from. And, and with me, I've been blessed that it's been word of mouth, you know? And, and it's true, like, a lot of the photo shoots ended up becoming business. You uh -huh. know, photographers catching me on Whittier, photographers catching me on 15th Street, tagging me on Instagram, and then saying, hey, I got a client. How much for this many hours? I tell them, well, how much do you charge? And they'll tell me, hey, 150, 200. You know what I mean, the most I've made is a thousand bucks in Damn. four hours. You know, but it was uh -huh. like, oh, I was like, oh, snap, you know? I was just like, oh, wow, like, good looking out, you know? like. Yeah. It's all bit. I know it's all business at the end of the day. But like I said, my car is all original. I haven't put no money into it. You know what I mean? I, I got blessed. I got the car for twenty three thousand. Damn. It's not like I paid forty grand uh -huh. on something with brand new paint or anything like that. So it's not like I'm trying to pull my money out of it. I'm enjoying the car while other people enjoy it as well. Yeah. And you're passing on that. That I would say. That vibe of, of the of the car community because yeah. i feel like it's if you don't sit down and talk to somebody and see what they're about you're already just oh that that dude's you know connected or that dude's that dude's from the hood or whatever like everybody everybody people are people man at yeah. the end of the day you know what i mean like with the common interest is the cars but i've never really ran into anybody who owns a classic who's like you know a jerk or anything like there everybody's willing to explain to you how how they got their car how to go about it or how to do something maybe there's an issue with your car i've never had like you know what i mean i've never had any hate like that it's it's a i mean it's there i'm sure that it's there i don't know if you've experienced it but yeah no nah, i've never really uh experienced it because like when i'm talking cars we're talking cars like yeah i mean i've had different types of cars muscle cars Monte Carlos, Impalas, but like the younger years, because I was never into like low riding or, or riding. I, we're not low riding right now because I don't have switches, but I got a Impala on some rims, like, and I should be smashing, you know, <laughs> but like, I'm gonna be straight up. Like, that's just the type of, of person I am on how I like to drive. When it does come to the point when I do cut my car and it is a low rider, uh -huh. I'm a dog that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm gonna be out there just tearing shit up. But That's what I'm not, for, though. Yeah, but I'm not ready for that yet. You know? <laughs> right now I'm enjoying it and, and, and not having to worry about messing my stuff up right now. I'm just chilling, you know? Yeah. Just enjoying the car and letting other people enjoy it. Because once once it's cut and it's out there rocking and rolling, you know how it is? Like it breaks down. You gotta tell people like, nah, you can't use it today. We're gonna we're gonna be out there hitting switches, messing stuff up. You know what I mean? You know, I'm gonna be trying to save it to tear it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like you know, it's fun, man. You get you get to you get to meet a lot of people, dude. Like people honk, the kids smile, everybody everybody loves to see a classic car. Who doesn't? How much more American does it get than that? You know what I mean? It's like your classic car, you get to go out, take your family out, everybody's like, Oh, nice car, beautiful car, you know? Like that's one of the good things about it. You know, you get you get asked a lot by the younger kids, like hit the switch, I ain't got no plan, <laughs> you know what I mean? I gotta start jumping up and down. <laughs> But you fit the, I mean, the car fits the look, dude. If you wouldn't, if you wouldn't know it, you just think automatically, oh, that, that shit's yeah, cutting. Yeah, I got juice. It's, it's, it's got, it's juice. Yeah, but nah, we good. We just, we just a You're hood cruising, man. It's like it's smashing through the hood on some wheels, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, eventually, is that, that that's a question I get to. Eventually, is that what you would want to see it? You would want to see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I picture my car within time to be uh, cut up. On some switches, you know what I mean? 
like I said, dogging it, just doing what it do. You know, the, the beauty of it, uh -huh. the, the passion of low riding. Yeah, I, I got it in my heart and we're, we're pursuing it. You know, but some of us, it takes more time than others, you know? Yeah. yeah you don't always start on top. We got the car, now we just gotta get to it, you yeah. know? And that's what a lot of people say. Like a lot of people hit me up on on my on my social media and whatnot, and they say like, "Oh, well, that'll I, that's only a dream of mine." Like, nah, it ain't a dream. Like, you don't uh, really have to have. If you're not gonna, that's the other thing, though. If you're not gonna have a big bankroll to back it up behind it, then you better be willing to put in the work. Yeah, it yeah, goes yeah. it goes both ways. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't have to have. If you don't if you don't have the funds, then you better start learning how to do it. You gotta do it yourself. But you that's not that's and. And people do it, so there's not there's not an excuse to well like oh well I can't. Well then yeah. that's just your mindset, homie. Then you're never you're right. It's just gonna be a dream. You know what I mean? Because yeah. people always tell me that well, well I can't. Well you should have seen the truck when it started. You know what I mean? Like it's in time, dude. Baby steps. Nobody freaking it, like I said. Unless you have that bankroll, nobody freaking walks overnight. You know what I mean? No, like no, it ain't. No. It, you know what I mean? You gotta believe in the process, man. Exactly. And enjoy what you could. What you could enjoy. Don't. Don't try to like overdo it to to make other people accept you. Like do it and do it out your heart. Exactly. And then you're, you're gonna make it happen. You'll figure out if you really want it. You'll figure out a way to get to it. You know what I mean, and, I mean, uh, YouTube homie, start YouTube. You know, start a YouTube channel. How to you fix your own shit. YouTube University, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like you said, if you get to speak to the right people, communicate with the right people, they'll teach you. They'll, they'll, they'll. I mean, even if you have to pay to watch the guy work on a couple cars, like. You know what I mean? You'll be all right. As long as you got some tools, you can twist some wrenches, you'll be all right. Yeah. But uh, I, I believe I believe the same thing. Like, I got a homie right now, Tomas. He just got switches, but all his shit, he already redid it all himself. Like, and no, and he did it himself. Like, he, he let it come out the shop. He took it apart and rebuilt his whole front end <laughs> on his 68, on that green 68 for okay. the car club, you know? But his shit's hitting hard as fuck now. You know, but it, it, like you said, hey, you, if you ain't got the money for it, you're gonna have to learn how to do it. Exactly. You know, and that that's like that's where the the brotherhood comes comes along. It's like you start learning from each other, you know. And, and if you want to expand, when you're at a cruise or something, talk to some. You like some the way somebody shit's sitting. Talk to them. If they don't talk to you, well, there's gonna be somebody else to talk to you. you know? Exactly. Like, you gotta communicate. It's all on how you network. Don't limit yourself. You know what I mean, because if you limit yourself and, and, and you're all shy and you don't want to learn. You ain't gonna learn nothing, man. It's like anything else in life, dude. Like, not you. You, you don't just have the knowledge of everything, you know. But yeah, with the right people's communication, you, you'll get it done, you know. And, yeah. and and like I said, and, and even with doing this, like people, people, some people don't want to be on camera. And then cool, you know what I mean? It. But you you ask everybody. I ask everybody. I say, hey man, you want to you want to be on the podcast? You want to be on the podcast? It, oh my car's not clean enough, bro. It doesn't matter. Like I'm not. You know what? Hey, yeah. at least you got a car. You know what I mean? At least you're you're trying. That's 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 freaking our number one our number one video right now on the channel, dude. My buddy Brian, his car's not even painted. Doesn't even have a bed. But you know what I mean? Hey, he's out there riding it. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why you gotta take pride in what you got. That's what I said. Like take pride in what you have. Like mm -hmm. I can't be oh look at take looking at somebody. I, I always give everybody with nice cars props, but I can't be like eating off like wanting it, drooling over his plate mm -hmm. and not concentrating on mine. Like, exactly. I gotta concentrate on mine before I could get anywhere else. Yeah. You know, but I'm happy right now with the way my car is. But you stuff, yeah, I'm gonna be clowning. Yeah, yeah of course, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be clowning. That's gonna be tearing shit up. But the pockets ain't right right now. <laughs> so you know, we gotta let the process. We gotta believe in the process and take it as it comes. Exactly. You know. Yeah, but that's the goal, man. That's the goal. That's one of my goals. But this yeah. summer, it looks like we would just be rolling, rolling on some wire wheels, just enjoying all the cruises. Exactly, you know? though. That's Being out there, you know, networking with different people. And socializing with different individuals you know that's to me that's good enough because there's people that don't even get to experience that yeah that don't even that don't even know what it's like to ride don't even know what what, what the riding life is like you know uh -huh. and I think to be able to do this share share it and, and, and um, I mean it's my first time on camera like this but uh -huh. I'm comfortable enough because I feel like it's a conversation with the people watching us uh -huh. you know and it's, exactly. that's the way I'm taking it and, and and to to be able to see and and socialize with somebody that has a car hopefully you guys do come out to the shows hopefully you guys do come and show support yeah and hang out with us you know what i mean because 
it's not the stereotypical type of people that you probably think. You know, we're out here trying to have a good time and hang out and, and you know, be a, uh, to be honest, to be a part of the community. You know, mm -hmm. like that's what we want. We want, we want to. Sh I well, at least I can speak for myself and a couple other car clubs out there. We want to show our our, our young our youth better in life. You know, what I mean, if I wasn't ready for this, I wouldn't have got a car to cruise out here to to be able to do uh, photo shoots for kids with, um, on their prom dates, take them to prom. You know, I do that out of the kindness of my heart because we have to make the change. We have, we, we have to we have to switch this around from like, I mean, I can't speak like, oh yeah, I'm gonna stop all this madness that's going on and and um and make peace with, with the streets. But if we can neutralize stuff, let's do it, man. Let's do it for our people. I mean, for our people, I don't just speak about what's an ethic. I, I speak about all of us that live in the hoods, all of us that live in the ghettos, all of us. I mean, it doesn't necessarily just need to be there, just as a human love, man. Like, that, that's what, that, that's that's big to me. That's big to me because, you know what I mean? I, we've been through enough in life that we know. I have kids, so like, I know the love of a father to a child, you know? And, and I mean, who wouldn't want better for their people? You know, but yeah, like, I think this is one of the big steps for us. You know, I think this is one of the huge steps for us. You know, and like I said, what classic car doesn't bring smiles to people's face? You know? Yeah. I mean, people see the cars and they oh, throw a peace sign, say hi, you know? Kids, oh, check out that car, look at that car, car's cool. You see the older people like, oh yeah, nice car, mm -hmm. thanks, you know? <laughs> but yeah. It doesn't matter. I, like I, I get the same vibe whenever you, it's a, a whole wide range of demographic to the people who are saying what's up to you when you're in your car. Yeah. They take the person out of the car and they just look at the car. Yeah, the you know car. what I mean? And it's it's like you say, it's a universal language because they got these cars everywhere, man. Everywhere. They're out of freaking not even in, just in the state, Holland, Japan. Japan. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Japan's huge on our culture. Yeah, and you know that's the beauty of it. It's like when other people embrace your culture, they embrace it. Like that, respect it. That's huge. Look at how much of an impact you're doing. You're making without even, without even noticing it. You know, I think that's big, man. That's really big for me, at least. I look at that. I love it. You know, I, I love that type of stuff. Like when people embrace you, because they're not just embracing you as a person, but the whole culture. Yeah. The whole culture, dude. Like they love it. Like right now, how we were talking earlier about. The Frisco bins and all that back then that was hardcore. Mm -hmm. Right now it's neutral. Anybody could wear it. And that's the beauty of it. Why would you only want to limitize something to be uh, 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 hardcore? You know what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta let it uh be be neutral and accept it. I mean I think that's that's the important important factor behind this. Like it's just keeping it keeping it car related, I guess yeah. you could say, you know what I mean? Keeping it like doesn't matter what city you're from, doesn't matter, you know, what side it just
it should be about. When you bring out a car that you took frame off and you rebuilt, if you did something different than anybody else, that's good. Yeah. You know, and more props to you uh -huh. and, and respects because you're, 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 you're building the game up. Exactly. You know, like, you don't have to be all talking about it. Ah, like, dude, everybody could be the first one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause... You could be the first one of anything if you think you are. Yeah. But you weren't the first one. Believe me, something you're thinking another man's already doing. Yeah. And I always relate that too to this to the to like okay well you're trying to be original then why is your car back or like exactly. you know, if, you're, if you're trying to be somebody who's trying to do a one off of something you're on air ride everybody runs air ride or every or people yeah. run hydraulics like you're not gonna be 100% original you're gonna have something that somebody already did yeah, maybe exactly. you ran it in a different style but at the same at the end of the day you're either you know rolling stock air or juice and somebody's doing that you know what I mean it's like. Uh -huh. I don't get the people who get mad like, oh yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even do. understand. I don't even feed into their entertainment. I just be like, man, these guys are acting up. I just be like, oh, this guy's acting up today. I ain't even gonna pay attention no more. I gotta go. You know what I mean? Because Lowrider's been around before us. You know, that's just been around for years. You know, for years, way before we were even around. Yeah. I think one of the original car clubs I remember growing up was the Pharaohs. And that was like in Wilmington. Yeah, and and I that was like that's one of the car clubs, one of the only car clubs I ever. I remember the Pharaohs, the Dukes, I think oh the Usos. Okay, like in the Harbor area growing up, those were like the original car clubs I remember. Uh -huh. Right now, there's a lot of car clubs. Eh? <laughs> I mean, I, I, we're new, we're a new car club. But like, like I said, back then there wasn't many car clubs. And right now, yeah, we're a new car club. But but like I like. Like, um, how can I put it? My car club is basically mostly my, my friends I grew up with, and we just decided to get cars, and we were riding out. Some of us got invited to be from other car clubs. We, no disrespect to them, we just said not, right now is not a good time. Uh -huh. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start a car club. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start a car club, dog, either you fools are in it or not. Like, uh -huh. and we sat down, we talked about how we want our car club to be, what it is we're trying to accomplish and where we want to go with it. Uh -huh. You know, and um, that's how we started our car club. Was, I mean, I think it's going to be here to stay. You know, to me, we get so much support, so much love from our community that um, we've never had it in my city the way it is right now. So the support is there, you know, like, and I believe we're going to be here for the long haul, just like everybody else. You know, everybody else that puts a dedication and their time into their cars and into the car club. But, yeah, I, I believe, like, um, when, when I think car clubs, those are like some of the first car clubs I remember in my area. Them, and I want to say the Majestics, but I think Majestics started in LA. I'm, I'm uh -huh. I, I, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm not too sure, but so, I think I think I remember them more from like Cali swinging and shit like that. Okay. But like I never really been into like lowriders. I'll be straight up. Lowriding, yeah. lowriding was never my thing. I like. I, me, I was always into like Monte Carlos, Impalas, the 96 Impalas, Monte Carlos, 87 Monte Carlos, just fucking smashing shit out on 24s, on 22s, like, that was my thing, like, straight hot boy shit, you know? Uh -huh. To me, lowriders, I used to see lowriders, be like, oh, that was an OG. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, but like, man, maybe now, that's how people see me, like, oh, maybe that was an OG. I don't feel like an OG, but I probably am, you know what I mean? But, well, see, yeah. now, I mean, just speaking from like, if, if I'm a young, younger guy, Looking at the scene now for the older, the, the people who are older than me. Nah, dude, now it's just like, nah, oh, it's, all it's just, oh, you're just a. I've been seeing <laughs> young ass cats 17 in convertible. I'd be like, damn. I'll give them props though. Like, I'll be like, hell yeah, that's right. Because, hey, if I was 17 in a convertible, I'd be loving it too. So I could only imagine yeah. the, the, the adrenaline that kid feels. Yeah. Turn that mother, <laughs> drop the top, like, bam, I'm gonna go hit with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Woo, throw that. I mean, I've never owned one. But I've driven one, and I'll tell you, it ain't nothing to a hard time. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I don't even own a fucking convertible, <laughs> but I'll be straight up, dog. It's nothing to a hard time. Drive, drive a rag, dog. You're doing it. You know what I mean? Props to you and and, and everything you did to accomplish that goal. You know, like that's tight. I, I I love it. I love it. I'm the type of person that I love to see people winning because it gives me, it, it lets me know that I could win too. You know what I mean? It, it, it gives you that satisfaction of knowing that you're a part of the winning team as well. You just gotta do your part. You know what I mean? But 
Yeah, them rags, dog. All the youngsters <laughs> out there in them rags, you guys are doing it, dog. Straight up. Yeah, I'll tell oh. you, because the first time that I rode in, uh, well, I rode in the fucking in Lloyd's to live and die in LA. Yeah. That was the first convertible that I had ever been in. And I was like, oh shit, yeah, it's a different <laughs> vibe right yeah, here. That's a different vibe, dog. I mean, the sun might burn you up, but that's it's nothing right, when you're man. in that rag, dog. I don't give a fuck. I used to call it like riding like JFK. I you mean, know? just fucking out there in the open, you know? Not, not like enjoying that shit. Actually, that's how I met a lot of my people. Snoop's Visuals, he was one of the first photographers I worked with. Snoop with Snoop's Visuals and, um, Filthy shots and uh dang man, there's another uh they met me on 15th Street. I was out there acting up, no shirt on, and my cousin's uh he had a 65. Oh okay. uh, a, a burgundy 65, a candy apple red, with all gold everything. 65. We were out there, I was acting up, <laughs> drunk as a mother, I took my shirt off, that was snapping, 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 snapping. <laughs> <laughs> hey no, I swear when the fool started snapping, it was like Kanye West flashing lights and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Like, damn, that shit was, that shit was tight. And then I got posted on uh, on Instagram, and then I was like, hey, dude, I got a car now. And then it was like, what? Shoot pictures. Oh, shit, we could use that for a, um, a video shoot, some um, to, to shoot for clothing and shit. You know, and that's how, that's what happened, dog. Like, that's how I got, I basically got into it. My cousin busted out that rag, and I was like, damn, that's clowning. <laughs> that rag, driving around in that rag was something different, dude. The, the, vibe, the whole vibe is different. It's beautiful. It's from, yeah. Fucking, um, no, man. I just, I think, like I said, that's why I do a lot of the, the cruises and stuff and and go live on, on Instagram and TikTok and stuff because it's just, you can't beat. I, I try to, like, exp tell people to explain it. You can't explain it, bro. It's just the nah, feeling of the do. steering wheel yeah. and the freaking, you know, the, the your music going and, yeah. and it's just, you don't even really have to have a destination, bro. Nah. It's just you just fucking drive. You, you know what I mean? Drive. You just go. Just go. <laughs> you just go. People hit me up all the time. Where's the cruise at? Where's this? Dude, I don't know. Like, <laughs> what the heck? No, I'm on the same page you're on. I don't know about nothing. You know? So, like, sometimes we just... People just drive to the coast. You meet people out there. Like, hey, where's the next spot? We'll keep it pushing. Like, a lot of the homies are going to the Compton DMV now. Like, to go see... To be out there hanging out. Hudson Park in Long Beach with the homies from Litos, OG Generations. Like, man, everybody be out there, high class, fucking. You got a lot of different car clubs. Usos be out there. There be a gang of homies out there, man. And you, like you said, it's for the love of the cars. Yeah. You know, and everybody's just trying to go hang out and find a, 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 a cool ass place to, to chill. Nobody even cares about the, um, the gas prices. Yeah. <laughs> You jump in your classic guy, you ain't even tripping on the gas prices. You're hey, just trying you know, to go. You know what though? I will say this. I will say this. I was not tripping. And I don't trip, you know what I mean? But it's like I will say this because I when I went on that cruise, that long cruise, when I went to freaking Hollywood and all that stuff, I'm looking because I put gas to go to Newport. I was like, damn, we're we're hitting seventy dollars to fill up the classic, bro. I'm like, shit, because I remember it was always like, oh, I didn't really feel it because I was yeah. like, okay, it's only a 10 gallon yeah, tank, like you know what I mean? Bucks, yeah, good yeah, we, fuck, now we're like, I'm like, damn, we just spent, we just spent $200 cruising yeah, this weekend, bro. 150 a day, <laughs> I'll tell you that, it'd be like, ah, it's swallowing that thing, you know what I mean, but. It worth every it's, penny, man, though, dude. It's the memories, dude, the memories you create and, and the time, the way time's invested and spent, dude, it's like, it's unexplainable. I love just walking out my house and seeing my car in the driveway and pull the damn fucking cover <laughs> off of it, I'm gone, you know? Like, it's one of the best feelings. Getting home, like, oh yeah, she's right there, you know? Like, checking her out and shit. You know, that's like, it's, it's unexplainable. I only have one car I missed besides this one, and it was my 87 Monte Carlo. But, okay. like, the, that, that and this car is neck to neck, you know, neck to neck. But my Monte Carlo, I had that shit hooked up. That's the only other car I missed, other than that. But see, you had put the time in on the Monte Carlo, right? Yeah. And you had put the, the money into it and, and over time and done it, yeah. done it right. See, when you get this car done to the point, you might not oh, miss God, the Monte might, Carlo no, anymore, this man. this one might be the one. <laughs> Shit, this one might be the one. I'm pretty sure it is. Like, I, I love this car, you know what I mean? Like, she's done so she's she's done so much for me, especially in the pandemic and nobody could come out here, everybody was locked up. 
we was out on Whittier Boulevard. We was in yeah. Dangerous 15th Street. Yeah. We were out there chilling, you know? Everybody's at home and shit. We're at the taco truck. <laughs> <laughs> we was doing us, dog. Like, so like, yeah, this, this, man. My kids are bored at home. Load her up. Let's go to Cherry Beach. Go out there, take the kids swimming. We're parked out there on the ride, just hanging out. You know what I mean? Met a lot of cool cats out there. A lot of the homies from Bad Boys met them fools out there. A lot of cool ass cats, homie. Like, there's, there's, I mean, I've met a lot of people, dude. Like, not only specifically from car clubs, but just individuals in general, man. A lot of people. Like, all the people that, that, that have hired me, hired Redbone. We appreciate your business, you know. Hats off to you guys. Respect you guys for that. And because you guys, you guys could have picked any car. And we appreciate the business, you know. That, that's that means a lot to me, you know. To see my car on a shirt, to see my car on on, on somebody's fucking poster or something like that. It's like, man, that's tight. That's tight, you know. Out of all these cars out here, they picked our car. You know, that's that's badass. Well, yeah. so. Would you say Redbone's gonna be your keeper car? Oh man! I gotta ask. I can't even. <laughs> I, that's like that, that. I don't know. That's 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 a hard question to ask, man. I mean, I can't even answer it. Like, I can't. You know what I mean? Like, somebody might come up, come to me with a good offer, and I might see something I really want. And uh -huh. I mean, we're gonna have to let her live somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, you can't limit yourself. There's you no limits dude. to this, dude. You know what I mean? Like. There might be something out there nice that I want and somebody might offer me the right price. Hey, baby, you gotta go. Um, you know, but it's gonna be one of those cars that I'll probably regret selling, like the Monte Carlo. Like, fuck, man, I missed that car. I mean, it was just so perfect. This car has been so perfect to me as well. Like, I've never had issues. Never, never, not even an oil leak. Oh, so, like, to purchase the car and not even have an issue, that's very hard to find. You know, so. Yeah, I mean, it, it'll probably be a car I miss and a car that I have a lot of memories, uh, that has, that gave me a lot of memories, but, I mean, you know, with money, you can buy anything. That's the, that's the <laughs> With the right amount of money, you can buy anything, uh, Like one of our homies says, everything has a price. <laughs> yeah. Everything's for sale. Yeah, everything but is. that shit was dope chopping it up with you, uh, Serge. I, I really appreciate you coming on the show, and, um... Anything you gotta, any shout outs, any, anybody you wanna say what's up to or, you know? Well, just everybody out there in general, man. Okay. Live life to the fullest, you know, enjoy yourself, enjoy your family. Enjoy the time you got with your loved ones. And uh, let's make this, let's make a change. Make a change for our people, for ourselves, you know what I mean? For for our grandkids, our kids that we leave behind. Um, let's, let's make improvements where they need to be. We ain't dumb, we ain't blind, we know where they need to be. Mm -hmm. And like, sometimes you gotta let shit go to be able to evolve, man. And um, I'm ready for change. You know what I mean? I, I got kids and shit, and, and I don't want to leave my kids in the fucked up place that I was in. I want to make life better for them. But to all the people out there in the, in the car scene and all that, let's keep it pushed, man. Like, enjoy it. To everybody out there seeing all this, like us out here cruising or whatever. So I hope you guys like the video and the little interview. You know, it was a it's a it's a pleasure for me to be on it. It's my first time on camera or any of this. I don't even know how it's gonna come out, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, but like, hey, I'm trying to just be as normal as possible. No, you I know? I, I hope you guys appreciate it. it. All right, man. Thanks, so man, appreciate it. That's gonna be episode four, I believe, Cruising with Cresty. Thanks for guys, thank you guys for watching. Watching, shout out uh, Westlife Car Club.